Welcome to lesson 10 of my note reading crash course. In the previous lessons, we have already learned to read treble clef notes C, D, E, F, G, and A. And they're found here on the piano. C, D, E, F, G, and A. You might start to notice a pattern. You might be noticing that if this note is a line note, that the neighbor is a space note. And we continue alternating line, space, line, space. And now we're going to continue up the piano from this space note A on to B, C, and D. So if this note here is A and it's a space note, what do you think B will be? A space note or a line note? Yes, it's a line note, C is a space note, and D is a line note. So those three new notes are going to be found B, C, and D. So we're getting almost all the way up the staff here, and now we will have learned nine notes in the treble clef. So I'm just going to sweep away these previously learned notes and examine these three new notes in detail. So the middle friend of these three, this little musketeer right here, he is found in the third space up. This is treble C, and it's a landmark note. We've talked a little bit about landmarks before, and in the treble clef, we have the landmark middle C and the landmark treble G. This is another landmark note that's a really helpful note to anchor other notes around. So if you would like to memorize that one on its own, it's a good idea. So here we have third space up is C. One, two, three, third space is C. One, two, three, C. So here we have it on the piano, C. And I'll also play you treble G and middle C. So now examining this treble C, it's a space note. One, two, three, C. The notes on either side of a space note are always line notes. Line note B and line note D. Line note B is found below, line note D is found above. B, C, D. So now let's turn to the exercise, lesson 10, and while we play this exercise, our left hand is going to repeat and hold the note G in every measure. So building on the concept of playing hands together, this is a very simple version of hands together exercises, and we're going to use the right hand, and we're each time going to commence on the note G. So as you can see here, the note G is just two notes down from my newest note B. So here I have left hand three on G, right hand one on G. Playing together, here we go. One, two, ready, go. G, G, A, B. G, A, B, C. G, A, B, C, D, 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 hold. C, 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 hold. G, G, A, B, G, A, B, C, G, A, B, C, D, 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 hold. G, 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 hold. Very good. Practice that until you can play it steady and even. What I'd also like you to do is copy this exercise onto the blank staff found on your worksheet or on some blank staff paper of your own. That's very important to do because we're really trying to reinforce our learning. We're trying to make it automatic that we know these notes, that we recognize them, and we know them well enough to recreate them um, in writing.